Hey you guys, it's Sarah from Sugarbedic.com. Um, today I'm going to be changing my Dexcom site. Um, I know I've already done a video on the Dexcom site change, but the other one you really couldn't see what it was that I was doing. So um, I decided to go ahead and video another one and really kind of zoom in and let you see what it is that I'm actually doing. Um, when Dexcom sends their sensors to you, it comes in a box of four because one per week you use four in a month. Um, sometimes you can order them, you know, every three months and get, you know, three boxes. Um, my insurance won't let me get but one box at a time, so one box a month. Um, but anyway, when you get it, this is what it looks like, the little um, applicator and all that attached to it and then this is the bottom piece and you know that kind of thing. Um, I kind of like to keep this on the table just so that it's, you know, I've already got, the table's clean anyway, but just so that I have, just to, I know that it's a clean surface. Because um, you really don't want this to get contaminated. Okay. Now, I've got it open and just so you can see it a little bit better. That's what it looks like. The little plunger up there, and then that's the bottom. That kind of thing. And this is the little wing thing that you'll use to take the sensor out. Um, I tried a few times to take it out without using it. It's a lot harder. So what I do is I go ahead and insert the new one, and then I use the little tab thing to take the transmitter off of the old one and then insert it. I'll, I'll show you exactly. Um, how I do it in just a second, but I've got to take the old one off, and all you really do, and no, I don't have this on video, but all you do is you just pull it out, um, and that's what it is, so, anyway, and I just lay it to the side, and, um, I'll get to that in just a second, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer to where you can see where I'm putting it on my stomach so that um, you can see a little bit closer, up close, you know what I'm doing. So um, I'll be right back. I know this is weird, but I'll, I'll put it back in just a second. Okay, this, like I said, this is where the old site was, right here. I'm going to put it over here now. So um, you just get the <laughs> which I'm getting the the thing on here now. It says change it now. And I just hit OK because that's what I'm doing. And when you do that, this goes blank. Yeah. It automatically stops it for you. Now, you could go through the steps to go ahead and redo it and restart the sensor. But since I'm in, inserting a new one, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Now, like I said, like with the old one, you just choose your spot wipe it off and I've still got glue on me from my last pod that was right here um, I can use the Unisolve um, wipes but I usually don't just because <laughs> um, okay alright and just like with the other one you're gonna take this and just really you know bend it out get it flat And then take the paper tabs off. Sometimes they want to come off easy, sometimes they don't. Then you just pinch up a little bit of skin like that. And then you put it on. And you press the tape down so that you know that it's stuck. Um, you can use, um, what is it, it's Mastisol glue, and then there's also skin tack. Um, I usually wait till about mid, middle of the week to put that on just because it kind of makes the tape hard for me. I don't know if I'm just putting too much on or what. Um, so anyway, remember this little thing? You just take it and hold this part firmly just pull it out straight like that okay 
pinch up your skin and push it in with this part okay and then you grab the collar just make sure you don't grab the collar whenever you push in whenever you're pushing in the sensor and then you just pull it back and I don't know if you can see it there's these wings right here that I was telling you about before push those in and then rock this forward and then pull it out and that's it okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take the transmitter out okay this part is very easy you see these two little things right here there is a little space on either side right here and I'm sorry I'm trying to hand hold and do at the same time alright all you do is just put it in there if I can get it in there and press down and if you heard it click that means it's out and it is like that and then you lay it to the side and get ready to put it in the new sensor holder okay. now back to this part and all you do is there's that little lip right there you put it in push it down and just kind of hold it there and this tab is the part that you use to click this part in okay and it snapped two times and then you just you just hold it and twist it off and that's it for that part and then you go to your Dexcom and you turn it on and then you go to um, OK and you go down and you tell it OK to start the sensor and it says starting which I don't know if the words are backwards to you or not but um, and then right here is where it paused See, this is my reading before. And then it paused, and in two hours, this will kind of be mostly grayed out, to be honest. And then that's when it'll tell you to enter your startup glucose. And that's all that you have to do for the um, Dexcom site change. Um, I may try to do another um, Omnipod site change since I've got a better camera now. Um, but that's really all there is to changing out the... Um, the Dexcom sensor. I'll take some pictures of the calibration just because I'm not going to be home when I calibrate it. Um, I may try and extend a sensor to maybe a Saturday where I'm going to be here all day and I can come back in two hours and show you exactly what to do. Um, but like I said, I'll, I'll tag the photos onto the end of this video so you can see um, what it is that it does and how it shows it. So I hope you got a lot out of the video. Um, if you have any questions, if you want to talk to me about anything um, that's about the Dexcom or the Omnipod system, just um, send me an email. I have it over in the side part with the um, with the information about the video um, on there. So you can just shoot me an email anytime. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.